Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make attract glowing grid lines easy in After Effects. First of all let's create new solid layer. I will name it grid and then make sure that the size of the solid is slightly larger than the composition and then press OK. Now let's apply grid effect. I will leave the settings by default and then apply a turbulent displace effect. Change displacement to twist smoother. Then bump up amount, I think 140 is fine. Now bump up the size as well, 126 is enough and then make sure to hold alt on a keyboard and click on evolution stopwatch icon. In the expression down here let's write, time, asterisk and 150, that will animate turbulent displace effect. Looks cool, I also love to set anti-aliasing for best quality to high. Now let's apply tint effect. Click on map white to and change the color to any color you want. Finally let's apply a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin, in case you don't have it, DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and wait for my reply. I will slightly decrease exposure, cause I don't want it to be so bright and glowing. Looks fine to me, let's quickly check it and then we can track it. Looks nice, grid lines are glowing and all animated and now we can track it and apply on a ground. So first of all I will solo my clip so I can see only that video without any effects and then click on track camera. Once analyzing is done, let's select some points on a ground. Now right click on selected points and click on create solid and camera. We can now unsolo track solid in a main clip and then make sure to enable 3D on grid layer. It will disappear like that, cause grid Z position doesn't match the track solid Z position. Let's fix it, select solid layer and press P on a keyboard, make sure to copy positions last values, or Z position. Then select your grid layer and press P on a keyboard. Now simply paste that Z position and it's fixed. Let's press S on a keyboard and scale that grid line. Now I will change the orientation and position it right on the ground. So it looks like that now, but let's rotate it until it's perfectly on a ground. Once you are done with corrections, we can make that effect only on a ground and mask out other objects as the cars or anything else in your case. The easiest way to do that will be rotoscoping the ground, so make sure to duplicate your main clip and move duplicated one above grid and other layers. Let's rename it to foreground and then delete 3D camera tracker effect on it. Now make sure to scroll to the very beginning of your clips and then select a roto brush tool and double click on foreground layer. Let's rotoscope the ground here. Once you are done rotoscoping, make sure to check invert foreground slash background here. And on a left screen here you can see what it will look like, I will slightly increase the feather, maybe to 10 and then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. And here we are done, in case you want to make any changes as rotating or repositioning the grid, feel free to do it until it will look perfect to you. Once you are done with corrections, make sure to toggle off track solid layer and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.